Hubbard will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled at the 36. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guys covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Gives it left side. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Mike five, Mike five. Nice run up the middle. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. Tackled for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That brings up second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on the 47-yard line. Mike five. Red two. Orange six. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes at the 44. Carries it again, and he's tackled in the backfield. One yard loss for the halfback. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Tigers, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time, where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Third and long now after the sack. Taken down at about the 21. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick out to his receiver, and he's tackled around the 47-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Kill, kill, kill! Four, black five. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike five, Mike five. Red two. 
He's going to try and scramble. Brought down. Right around the 38-yard line. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. And he's sacked. A great defensive end in college football. Just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. That's good for game That makes it third and 11. Sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Oh, excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Makes it out to about the 29. made around the 30-yard line. He makes his way to about the 42. That's a game of 12 on the play. Four down, four down. First down. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Straight run, nothing going on there. Now he tries to buy some time. Sheds that one. Looks like he's going to run. He's taken down at about the 49. So at the end of one, this one's scoreless. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. At the 46 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. First down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Easy, easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. Black That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. 
He really got a hold of that one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. It's been a good day for this defensive lineman, really showing off his skills. Well, this guy seems to just be the spark plug for this defense. They seem to go and they play depending on the vibe and energy that he brings. And today, boy, he is bringing it. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. I don't care if this offensive line uses two or even three guys to stop him. There's nothing they can do to stop this individual performance that he's putting on display today. He steps out at the 23-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And this one is a beauty. Looking for the corner. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Tries to get around the corner. And he tackles him hard at the 46. Gain 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike, Mike, Mike. Easy, easy. Check, 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 check. He gets to about the 34 yard line. First down. Watch the safety creep. Run, run, run. Inside running, he's hit hard. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. He gets out to about the 32 yard line. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Get to that quickly. This is the eighth play of this drive. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. Auburn 
could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And down he goes at the 33. The slant pattern, good for about eight yards on the play. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Green nine, green nine, green nine. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start, start offense. offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches so have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. Roger, Roger. My five, my five, my five. Come on, baby, come on, let's go. <laughs> Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's taken down right around the 30. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. They get this one off and it's a beauty. He's tackled at the 47 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Auburn holds a field goal lead. He's going to go for the home run. It's intercepted. First half of football, and we head to the break. The Tigers with a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Auburn has got the advantage right now, but we've expected a tight game all week, and I'm sure that they know this is going to be a battle throughout the entire day. Absolutely, but you're also happy that you got the lead. You know, you started off this game solid. You put yourself in a position to play the second half in front. You don't have to call a game super aggressive. Continue to do what you've been doing. Coaches have to be excited. Show the players that the first half wasn't an aberration. We're going to come out, continue to put drives together, continue to have success. And as the pressure starts to mount, what can turn a game like this? But who's going to make the crucial mistake at the crucial time? And they don't give the football away. Continue to play aggressive, but play smart. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Fred and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Auburn has a three-point lead. He 
takes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. He fights forward to about the 29. to the receiver, incomplete. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle made at the 25. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. It's the tailback, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That brings us fourth and three. Booming kick. He fields a punt at the 20, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Auburn is up a field goal. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Number Man, eight on the tackle at the 39-yard line. My game, my game. That, that makes, makes it second, second and two. two. Kill, baby. No, kill, kill, kill. Red nine. Check 37. Check 37. Do it, check it. He's got it with room to run. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. That's a team 14 yards on the play. Four down, four down. That makes Mike it first eight. and 10. Mike, eight. Kill, 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 kill. 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 Yeah. White nine. Watch the safety creep. On the ground with the tailback. Gets out to around the 38. That's good for That brings up second and one. Okay, he's blue 90. Blue 90. Brought down at the 29. Call it a game of nine yards. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch down. is going to be enough to draw the flag. Second down and 14. Ball on the 34-yard line. Tackle for a loss. Is up by three. They'll make the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Fourth and long here after the sack. 
This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. It's second and 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Quick pass. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That was a designed quarterback draw, and it results in a loss of around two. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. Passes in and it's picked out of the sky. Inside the 30. And he will score. He hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. So the offense will come back out onto the field hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. Now you feel bad for this offense because they're clearly struggling, but they just haven't shown much at all today. He's taken down at the 39. around the 43-yard line. That makes it second and six. Fires that quickly incomplete. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. From their own 43-yard line, third down. He's knocked out of bounds at the 45. Game of two yards. That makes it fourth and four. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Caught out in the open. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. The Tigers with a 10-point lead. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Down, red 90. He makes it to the 25-yard line.
and he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He really got a hold of that one. Gets out to about the 31. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. And he's leveled at the 31-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Mike five, Mike five. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kill. X7. Two. Makes it out to about the 40. Quick strike and he drops it. Number 15 Looks like they're gonna go for it on fourth down. Quick out to his receiver. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. So they get the first down on a big fourth down pickup. These guys will just not go away. They're backed into a corner, but that's when a team performs their best. Black five, black five, blue, Hey, kill, kill, kill. And they got him. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive That'll coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And down he goes around the 44-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they got it. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. And once again, the coaches decided to go for it on fourth down. My five, my five. That's what I did. Got him. They tried to throw for it, but ended up getting sacked. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just under three to go in regulation. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Up the middle for a nice game. Missouri is going to use their first time out of the half here. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. Looking for his man, incomplete. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Auburn's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Five wide. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Just under two to go in the game. Spikes the ball. Third and long. Ball on their own 18. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike five. Mike five. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes it fourth and long. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Missouri will take their final timeout. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Touchdown, Tigers. The Tigers are so confident every time they hand this kid the football that he's going to do something special. Well, there's a reason he's the go-to man, and, and here, with everything at stake, he's able to deliver for them in a big way. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 14-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 20 to nothing. Auburn to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You look up at the clock, Kirby, and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here. No, it's been ugly for both of these offenses. you got to think about maybe spreading out the defense, giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw. Somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he's taken down the 37-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Easy, easy. And he just gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 37. Fires the mic. You better be afraid of me. Red two. And he's tackled at the 49. Easy, easy. Blair, Blair. That makes it first and 10. Black five, black hey, kill, kill, kill. Under pressure. End zone, touchdown. yards in the game now. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. He makes the PAT. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. 
This offense really ran the ball well as they finished off their last drive with a touchdown. Just over a minute left. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. From the 47-yard line, second down. Six yard line, a one yard gain by the halfback. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game 20 to 7, Auburn. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.